Hey, what's up city groups? Pastor Josh here, man. I'm so glad that you are still in the city group. You're still rocking, you're still going and still growing. Uh, man, today, uh, I just wanna tell you guys a story real quick. So I just got back from Africa um, and it was an amazing trip. It was so cool. Uh, but there's one thing that's for sure. Like we see poverty all through it when we talk about our mission trips and when we look, cast them out and launch them. But uh, one of the coolest things is that you walk into this place and you see something that's undeniable and it's joy, right? Uh, like everyone's smiling, everyone's high-fiving. Even when you walk through the city, uh, they're high-fiving you no matter what their situation is. Uh, and we we basically go there and we help this school called uh, New Hope Cabrera. And this school gets kids to college um, and it really gives them a head start in life. And uh, the teachers there are just phenomenal and they're always happy, they're always excited, always loving their students. Uh, and I had the opportunity to actually sit and talk to them and I was sitting with them and I asked them this question because I just thought it was weird. Uh, I was like, hey, man, how do you guys have so much joy every single day? Like this isn't faked. Like I see their Facebook post and their Instagram post and they are just genuinely joyful and they're in the school high five and I'm like, how do you do it? And we went around the room and there was this one guy, his name was Simon and I, I was talking to him and uh, I'm like, how do you do it? And he, he looks at me and he says, well, every morning I wake up uh, and I meditate on the goodness of God for 15 minutes. And me, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, wow, that's like super cool, right? Uh, that's awesome. Uh, this guy prays for 15 minutes, but then he continued. And he said, then I pray and then I read my Bible. And he says, after I spent that much time with the Lord, how in the world could I be anything but joyful? And I'm like, you do this every day. He's like, I do it every day. And then it hit me. It was like, man, this guy meditates on how good God is every single day for 15 minutes. That is a habit that he has built and it has flowed into the way he behaves or acts or, or lives his life publicly. Uh, and I thought it was one of the coolest things. And this is why I appreciate this message so much is because it's such a beautiful reminder that what we do in private matters and flows into public. Uh, I think Pastor Jay had a quote uh, that said, the movers and shakers of the kingdom of God were great uh, reapers in public because they were great weepers in private. They had that private prayer, that private time with God uh, that really just propelled them. So my question for you, City Groups, is what is one great habit you built? It could be reading your Bible. Uh, it could be praying. Uh, it could be meditating on the goodness of God. But what is that one one good habit that you have built that helps you live your life day in and day out. Uh, I hope you guys have a great group. I hope it's awesome. Uh, and I love you guys. And I can't wait to see all of you in church next week. Love you guys.